recently my for you page is littered with girls using a gua sha in their morning routine now it looks lovely luxurious but i don't have 10 minutes to just indulge in this in the morning i got other stuff to do i've ignored this gua sha up till now that was until the intrusive instagram ad algorithm started giving me these ads and my jaw dropped. The before and afters of these are insane. Now I'm not dumb, I'm a YouTuber. I own the clickbait genre. I understand how to fake a before and after. I've talked about it many times on this channel and I could not understand this. These weren't a weak transformations. I'm not that dumb, but still there's that transformation. It doesn't look like a filter. It doesn't look like Photoshop. What is going on? So I'm going to do face massages, gua sha, and all Realm for 30 days to see if it turns this into this. It gets snatched. Day one, this oil was recommended from my facialist. I go to Glow Therapy in Vancouver. Because first of all, my skin loves oil. And I have sensitive skin, so I really want it to glide. Advice I'm about to show right now, don't copy. I don't know how to do this right now. By the end, I will show proper form. She recommends massaging down the lymph nodes. Oh, and then chest. I didn't put oil on my chest. I don't even know who's the good people right now. I just found really just generic YouTube video. Oh, this feels nice. Just doing my makeup and my neck was hurting and I just started going like this and oh my God, this is everything I needed. I'm gonna be honest, this seems like bullshit to me. You can't change the face, shape of your face without doing like surgery. But then I got to thinking, why Botox works is it relaxes the muscles and you can use massage to relax the muscles. So why wouldn't that work in your face? So like, I think this is bullshit, but also I'm kind of like, ah. oh, oh. <laughs> Gua sha originated in ancient China. In fact, it's one of the oldest forms of traditional Chinese medicine. And they used to believe it would scrape away illness. So what does gua sha promise us? The benefits are it smooths wrinkles, tames face puffiness. In more traditional Eastern Chinese medicine, they believe it helps manage disease, promote circulation, and ease muscle pain. And it originally was a full body treatment, and it now has been adapted to more just facial. But we're also adapted to face yoga, face massages later on in the video. Seven days in, I'm looking at my face, nothing's changed. But ironically, about a couple days before this whole challenge started, I started noticing I just had this headache here. So you know, like any typical anxious human, I assumed I had a tumor. <laughs> I wrote my will, I was like, this is the end, and I just came to terms with that. If you wanna know where my mind spirals at 2 a.m., we'll talk about where this crosses over to this video in a second. Day 10, do you see a difference? Do I look stunning at 5.30 in the morning? Probably not. Okay, when I'm rushed, I hate this. Or Sunday, I had nowhere to be, and it was marvelous. P.S. how I keep it clean. Put it in a glass, put it in here, put it in the fridge so it doesn't touch anything. Is if you keep them dirty, they're probably doing more harm than good. I feel like American Psycho. In the morning, if my face is a little puffy, I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. When I do shit like this. <laughs> it's such a fine line of that girl, that woman, American Psycho. It's a spectrum. The goal is that woman. That girl is you're just doing it for Instagram. That woman, you're doing it for yourself. American Psycho, you're doing it to murder. I simply am not there. Guasha is believed to encourage blood flow, energy flow, and typically performed by acupuncturists, cryopractors, massage therapists, people who practice Chinese medicine, and even physical therapists have their own technique, which is called the Gratson technique. We saw all the benefits. It could snatch your jaw, take away wrinkles, but what are some of the harms? Bruising, discoloration. A warning now, if you have a sunburn, any open wounds, anything like that, it can 
cause scarring, damaging, bruising, even infections if you don't properly clean it. So I've been doing the Gui Sha for two weeks now. My best friend who's an RN and an injectable nurse, like she runs her own Botox filler clinic. I'm gonna ask her if she's noticed any changes in my face because anyone can hyperanalyze my face. It's my best friend. And what have I been doing to my face for the last two weeks? What do you think I've been doing? Moisturizing. You think I haven't been moisturizing? No, I have. You have been. I know, but just started two weeks ago, is what I'm saying. Oh, what did I add to my routine two weeks ago? Retinol. Oh. Here. Am I failing? <laughs> yeah, sure. one more guess, one more guess, we'll see. Um, <laughs> Dermaplaning. No. Okay, perfect, see? <laughs> see, it's absolute bogus, okay. Doing the guia, the guia. Oh like, wait, I actually thought that, but I'm like, I don't know. But um, no, I think I look the exact same after two weeks. Yeah, I don't think they work. <laughs> <laughs> Quick room check. I'm two drinks deep and feeling it, so. I want to light. To the beach, we go. Mm. Mm. Stunning. Funny thing happened around day 17. I was flying home from Mexico. And I got a glimpse of myself in the mirror. Well, once again, I've been doing this challenge for about two weeks. I was expecting I'd go and just be like, look at this snatched jaw. Is that Bella Hadid? I was in the airplane, just went to the washroom in the airplane, was about to leave. I get a glimpse of my side profile and I was horrified. I've never seen a double chin like that on me. I was like, oh, oh, what happened in Mexico? <laughs> like, is this like somehow like dragging my skin and making it say? And then I noticed something about my neck. I've had this awful headache, which makes me not sleep. And not sleeping causes stress. And I'm stressed because I know that will cause me more stress, which causes me more stress and it's a cycle. Ugh. Find where I'm physically holding stress in my body. And for me, I just discovered that that headache I'm referring to, it's a tension headache. It's a ten because this is all connected into here. And apparently, eight hours a day of going like this, editing music and video, it causes pain all the way up here into your head until you're can't sleep. Remember back when I was talking about the airplane incident, I was like, where is this double chin coming from? I noticed something. I heard this article recently about Mary Kate and Ashley. Anyone remember those gaunt photos of Mary Kate and Ashley? And they always had that sunken in cheeks. They've recently revealed they would suck in their cheek. I know a lot of models do that. Remember the bad view? I realized that when I fly, I get bad neck problems, bad back problems. I realized, whoa, 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 whoa. What happens if I just stand up straight, suck in my cheeks, and I've seen those TikTok chants of when you suck in, and then I realized how they did the before and afters. Okay, the before. They tilt their head forward, bad posture, they blow down a little bit and kind of tuck their chin in, so they get the... Or, sit up, tuck your chin up, Neck straight up, chin extended, suck in, and suck in your cheeks. So like, just a little. Mind blown. So next time you see those ads, just realize it's, you can completely fake it. Just how like you can stand differently to create a thigh gap. You can do angles to make you look longer. That, <laughs> that would be it. Talk gua sha. There's also, you can get a face massage. And you do nature's gua sha, I saw on TikTok. And you can use your thumb or your finger. Confession, I missed two days because I went down to surprise my mom and best friend. And I literally went with just one outfit. New gua sha. And I'm, am I saying it finally right? Gua sha. Maybe that's the transformation of this video. Just learning how to say gua sha. There's a stimulating massage, lymphatic drainage, and an acupressure massage. And I just, every once in a while, when I just really wanted to get in there, or I was too lazy and the gua sha was in the fridge, I just did a bunch of these techniques. And I really didn't notice a difference between using my finger and thumb and the gua sha. The only real difference is the gua sha does, it is a bit smoother and it's nice and cool. This has been so nice for my tension headaches. Oh my God, I did not realize you could literally have knots in your jaw. Has my jaw changed? No. <sighs> now remember my tumor? Um, turns out it wasn't a tumor. You don't say. Week three. I didn't sleep for two days. I've never been in so much pain. I've never had such a bad, I want to say migraine, but it was just like right here and it was just pounding. This was like the week before my burnout video. I'm like, what is going on? Booked an appointment with my doctor, my mom, and my physiotherapist. I'm like, what are you 
Tell me something. And uh, they all told me the exact same thing. You guys see me doing my workout challenges. I do have an active life, but between the hours of 10 and five most days, I am like this. I start like this, good posture. And then it's this little note, it's little. So I need to get into it and I need to get nice and close because I can't quite see because I just edit and do everything on a laptop instead of working over the money and getting a monitor. What do you think happens when you spend eight hours every day like this? <laughs> that was when I experienced my first tension headache. So I went to my detox and they massaged my neck, got up and massaged my jaw. And then the next day my mom gave me a bunch of stretches I could do. My doctor also was like, how's your screen time? I was like, let's not talk about it. And we figured we have like muscles on here and all connect up to right here. All this tension was building and building until just like you have a knot anywhere in your body, I had knots in my jaws, my head and all that. Now, I will say, this is something that should be done by a professional, technically speaking, but it's one of those things like a massage. Technically, you go, someone goes to school for it to get a professional massage, but you can also just go give yourself a massage. So gua sha kind of falls into that. Now, I also wanted to try an actual face massage, and this sounded crazy. I saw this glow facial is my favorite facial in Vancouver. I always saw they had this thing called the Buko massage, and I just love trying weird things sometimes, and they massage in your mouth. I thought for the sake of this video, let's give it a go. Guys, that massage slash facial, I did not know I realized I needed in my life. The next day, it was just like, oh, the tension was gone. Like theoretically, if I had a movie premiere the next day, which I've never had, um, I might consider doing this. Just like, it just takes away like the puffiness. Just like when you get a massage, it, it does get blood flowing. You just, you know, you kind of just feel like, ooh, ooh. I just realized something that I could sound so dumb. Buccal face massage. What is a buccal? <laughs> so the buccal's like the inside here. I definitely this whole time I've been thinking buccal is like the technique for face fat removal, realizing it's actual part of you. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay, I have a question. Can anyone tell what I've done differently? Anyone? You got glasses. <laughs> anyone? Something different with the makeup. Wear the same sweater a week in a row. True. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> okay. okay, here's I have two theories. Okay, two theories. Is there something with your makeup, mm -hmm. or is it maybe that you're combing your hair slightly different? I mean, my hair is back, so you can see my face, yeah. but something with your hair. It's not my hair. It's not your hair. Put, is it makeup? Put no. No. Dropbox under the. So for the last month, I've done gua sha. So those like face scraping uh, to see if it snatched my jaw. My face looks the same shape. Your jawline has always been sharp. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so what are the steps of gua sha that I've been doing? Step one, clean your face. Step two, apply face oil. Three, start gliding. And then the order they recommend that I was doing is start with your neck, then your jaw, cheeks, under eye, nose, and forehead. And, and you can go online and find all the maps of the directions to do. And I just kind of did that same routine every day. I started this challenge with the idea of being like, I'm just gonna show if snatches my jaw or not. And it completely changed so many things unexpectedly. I know to have good posture, but like I said, I just catch myself slouching. And at no point do I think how much it can affect me mentally. And I started out this like gua sha thing. It's just being like, oh, this is thing in the morning. I'm just gonna sweat because it'll make my jaw look snatched. And I'm sitting here being like, it's not gonna change your face shape. And I realized it's not about that. Oh. 
good for my well-being. After that, since then, I've incorporated neck stretching. Everyone in the office were trying to sit back up straight, and I do do gua sha now every day, but it's less about like, oh, how am I gonna change the shape of my face? I'm like, oh, let's see if we have any knots in there. Let's kind of work through it. Here is my before and after. See any difference? Uh, no one has noticed a single difference. Not anyone on YouTube, not anyone in real life. Uh, so if there is a difference, <laughs> it's very minuscule. Any harms, any bruising, cut? No, I never noticed anything like that, but I was very, very anal about cleaning it. Now professional versus at home. When I went to saw professional, when I went to make my detox and they did the more physical therapist route or if I went to go facial and they did a bit more of the facialist approach, drastically the next day I could feel the difference. When I did it myself, it was just more of a like, bit more of a maintenance, it did help a bit. It wouldn't drastically change, but it was definitely, but I definitely saw the benefits of doing it every day. Did it change my face shape? No. The only thing that did was when I realized posing. The reality is you can lose weight, you can gain weight, you can choose some crunchier foods to gain a bit of muscle, and that's really the only options you have to change your face without getting the cosmetic route. Botox, that realm, which can relax muscles and change your jaw, and you can get filler. So there is that route, but that's gonna be the only thing to change. Now, will I continue doing this? Yes. This was one of self-care things I just kind of was like honestly this is gonna be a really short video and I was just gonna show the before and after and be like see nothing happens and then I realized <laughs> sometimes things like this end up working and just end up finding you in the right time but I did not realize how much tension I carried in my jaw and physical pain it was causing me just taking those few minutes in a day and realizing up here needs physical care too it's not just a vanity thing we literally have muscles in our face that we need to take care of. And I don't wanna stress you guys out and cause I think every day we're told a new thing in the wellness industry is like, you're not stretching enough, you're not drinking enough water, you're not moving, you're not taking enough steps, you're not doing resistance training, you're not eating enough vegetables. Like every day we're told another thing we're screwing up. You do not have to start doing gua sha, you do not have to start doing face massages or anything. I just think it's a tool to know. Are you getting a lot of headaches? Do you notice you're constantly tight like this? Maybe just while you're doing skincare routine in the morning, if you have a nice oil or something like that, or get an affordable oil, just give yourself a little moment. Just give yourself a little moment before bed in the morning if you're going out. But if you're someone like me who's like constant tension headache, probably change your quality of life. But let me know down in the comments any other wellnessy thing you guys would like me to try. I just, I sometimes like to do videos like this purely because it's fun to see if I can debunk it. Or occasionally, I'm out here, firing squad, waiting to just debunk some stupid myth and then I'm like, oh my God, I needed that. Most importantly though, have a great day. Go pet it up. Love you guys, bye.